Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to add a printer to your Windows PC. In this video specifically, we'll be talking about adding the Kyocera MFP as a local device on your computer. Now, it is quite possible that your IT administrator has the printers deployed to your computer in a different fashion, either as a group policy object or shared in the directory of the server. But today, we're going to be discussing explicitly two different ways to install a printer. The first way will be via the add a printer wizard through the Windows interface. The second method will be a Kyocera specific method that relates to their latest KX driver. So without further ado, we're going to start with the step that is required for both installation options. We need to find the correct driver for our printer. Now the driver is essentially the intermediary piece between your computer and the copier that allows you to print to the device. The easiest way to do this is to open up a web browser and type in your manufacturer model name, in our case, Kyocera, and then followed by the words print driver. Now, in Kyocera's case, it takes us right to their download center, um, but your printer manufacturer uh, might have something different here. So, download center. Now, when I'm looking for the Kyocera driver, I need to know whether my device is an A3 or A4 sized MFP. The difference between the two is that if your copier can handle 11 by 17 or ledger sized paper, it's an A3 MFP. Once you have your designation selected, you'll go to products and you will find the model of the machine that you have. If you're unsure of what the model is, you can either reach out to your service provider or look on the front of the machine. That information will be listed there. I will select, in this case, technical downloads, drivers. What I'm looking for is the KX print driver. Now, be aware that there are two versions of the KX driver. The first is the KX V4, and the other is the just the plain KX print driver. Um, we want the latest KX print driver, which in this case is the 8.0 version. There is also a version for older Windows OSs, Windows 7 and Server 2008, uh, specifically, so you'll just choose the download option next to the driver that you wish to use. Now, I'm going to store my driver package on my desktop. You can store it in your downloads. Just make sure you put it in a place where you can find it and access it easily. It will download, and this download timing will vary based on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, you're going to open the folder. You're going to want to extract all the items in this compressed folder. So the easiest way to do that is to, underneath Extract, just select the Extract All button, and then just leave it as the default folder destination for extraction. Once the extraction is complete, feel free to close out of those windows and minimize your web browser. Now, if we want to add the printer as a TCP IP device, which we do, um, we're going to go to our control panel. For this next part, you will need the IP address of your printer. If you're unsure of how to find that, please watch our video on finding the IP address of your Kyocera copier. Once you're in the control panel, we want to view our devices and printers, and then we want to add a printer. Now, we generally want to avoid adding the printer in the way that Windows indicates here. This process for adding a printer is going to add the printer as a WSD, or Web Services device which is a fairly unstable Microsoft API that is used to connect to devices that are available across the network that your computer sits on. So the easiest way to do this is to click on the printer I want isn't listed. Now there's a whole bunch of options here, but the easiest is to select the third radial, which says to add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name, which we will do so now. We'll click next. Now these three fields, um, we're going to have to fill out. So for device type, we're going to choose TCP IP device. For the host name or IP address, we're going to put the IP address of the copier that we're trying to add. And then the port name should automatically fill in. You can change this if you want. Um, I usually just leave it as the IP address, but in this case, I'll just call it office copier. And then we are going to uncheck the query of the printer and automatically select the driver to use checkbox. 
select next. Once it finds the printer on the network, it's going to prompt you to choose a driver. So in this specific instance, we're going to click the have disk option. And now we need to browse to where we stored that uh, driver download that we got in the first part of this video. Now I put mine on my desktop. So I'll find it. I'll open it. I'll open it again. And essentially I'll just be walking through the folder navigation menu here until I get to this part. Now, if you have a Windows 10 machine, odds are very good you have a 64-bit machine. Uh, these are essentially operating system architectures. So I'll select 64-bit. And then what I'm looking for is the OEM setup file. This is the file that contains all of the different driver models. I'll double click it to enable it and select OK. Next, it's going to pull up a list of all possible driver models. I'm going to scroll until I find the one I'm looking for. In my explicit case, I'm looking for the Kyocera Task Alpha 5052 CIKX driver, which I find right here. Once I've highlighted it, I'll select Next. It'll give me the opportunity to name the copier. So I'm going to call this the same thing I labeled my port. And then I'm going to select Next, and it will begin the installation. Depending on your computer, you may need admin rights to uh, perform this next step of actually installing the printer. If that is the case, please reach out to your IT administrator, and they'll be more than happy to give you a hand. So once the printer is installed, select Do Not Share This Printer, and then select Next. From this last page, we can select it as the default printer if it's not already added as your default printer. And you can also print a test page from the device to confirm that it is in fact connected and working. Select Finish, and there you go. Your printer is now installed. Now, the Kyocera driver package that you downloaded in the first part of this video also contains a utility that will install the copier for you. So if we open up our driver package, this might be in your downloads folder, um, but for me, I put it on my desktop. I will open the driver folder. I will open the driver, the EN folder. What I'm looking for is the KM install application. If I run this, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the product library for Kyocera. I'm going to accept the notice and hit OK on the resource and energy saving prompt. And then I'm going to do, uh, if I'm adding one device, I'm going to do the express install. Now, there, it'll be able to find the device usually by one of two ways, either the IPv6 or the IPv4. Now, if you watched our video on finding the IP address of your copier, we strongly recommend you use the IPv4 address as opposed to the IPv6. Once I have chosen this printer, I will leave the three options down here selected. This essentially allows us to install the KX driver, which is the recommended driver, the proper fonts package, uh, and the status monitor, which can give us detailed information about the status of the copier, such as low toner, out of paper, etc. Once I click install here, um, it will add this printer to my computer. And I select install. Um, it'll then prompt for anonymous data collection. I usually select no here. Um, and then I select OK. And it goes through the process of installing the KX driver. That the driver is finished, you can make a couple default options. You can set duplex as the default from here. I usually just uncheck all of these. If you want, you can leave the print a test page checked to have a test page print out of the printer to confirm that you are indeed connected to it. In today's video, we reviewed adding a Kyocera Task Alpha copier to your computer locally in two ways. The first method was adding a printer using the Add a Printer wizard that comes with your Windows PC. The second method, specifically tied to the Kyocera KX driver, was to use the Kyocera product library to add the printer using the product library utility. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. I want to thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Mm -hmm.